Greetings. Welcome to another study and I hope all of you friends are fine. Mark 13 verse 33. Take ye heed and watch. Matthew 24 verse 33. So likewise, when ye see all these things, know that it is near even at the door. Yes, friends, the third angel's message, as we are told, Revelation 14, 9 to 11. And a third angel followed after them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and deceive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into his cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Let's pray, friends. The Lord is coming soon. Let's pray. Our Master in heaven, Lord, indeed, we are grateful for the signs of the times. I pray now, Father, that you may speak to your children the way you want. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. Okay, friends, as you can see from the title, we have Christians to control the United States of America. Is it good with God's word? Mm? And also, a tax force for the media. Yes, for social media. The things people post. Now it will have a tax force, especially the part of religion. And then, friends, as we are told, battle before Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Yes, friends, war will rage indeed. Now, friends, as we are told in Revelation 13, verse 11 to 18, the second beast, the United States of America, it came with religious freedom, but soon it will speak as a dragon, as we are told, Revelation 13, verse 11. Mm. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, but spoke as a dragon. Yes, friends, the United States brought freedom, but soon it will oppress majority. It will be like the devil. Mm? And how will that come? When the devil will come uh, like an angel of light. Yes, friends. Now, friends, we are told it will form an image to the beast. It will be in church and state. Yes, friends, Revelation 13, verse 15. Mm. Now, listen, we are told here, the Roman Catholic Church has been plotting to gain control of the whole government in the interest of Roman Catholicism, while the Christian statesman and its allies have been plotting to gain control over the whole government in the interest of a system that the perfect image of Roman Catholicism. So the Roman Catholic Church in the past, it was ruling in church and state and when it ruled that way many people were persecuted because of god's word because of the bible mm? and that is why united states when it came it said separate the church and the state but now they're saying christians want to control what america so it means it will form a perfect image like that of the roman papal power but now friends it will be more worse than anything that has never been seen upon this earth. It is a counterfeit revival. Mm? Now listen, there you go. Curry Lake campaign. Chairman says he wants Christians to control where? America. Yes, friends. Christians to control America. Mm. He also said, I absolutely believe we are going to take back America. The way we do it is by starting at a local level and building out and then taking over the country. As the results of taking country after county, 
Christians could control America. Yes, friends, it is good for Christians to control things, but not to control the civil power. Because Christ says, my kingdom is not of this world. John 18 verse 36. Also Christ says, give to Caesar and to Caesar and to God what is God. Yes, Christians should rule, but not in the civil part. Yes, friends, because when they do that, they shall force people who are pagans to worship God. And God does not use force. So, friends, it will form an image to the beast. We are seeing it, friends. Very soon, people will be told, go to church by the government. And remember, as we are told in Maranatha 2.14.5, that all nations will follow the lead of who? The United States of America. So get ready. Listen, America needs God. Lawmakers join evangelical leaders in repentance. Yes, friends. Intercessors around the world gathered for a day of prayer on Wednesday, January 31st, to pray of serious repentance. Friends, when I look at this, lawmakers are now repenting because very soon they will put laws for people to keep Sunday holy and remember mark 1 15 christ was preaching what mm? the time is fulfilled and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god is at hand repent and believe the gospel and the lawmakers having their counterfeit revival are saying repent and do what believe the gospel for their revival has come yes friends it is here the time is fulfilled listen there you go. Bible featuring America's Constitution is passion project for Lee Greenhood, faith focused country star. Now, friends, they want the Bible and Constitution to be one thing. Mm? The Lord does not want that. The Lord wants people to worship Him out of their will, not out of force. Now, friends, they had a meeting about religious freedom. Of course, they say, we promote religious freedom of every person. But when it comes to the Bible, they will not accept it. They will call, you are destroying religious freedom. Hmm? Church of Scientology participates in International Religious Freedom Summit with other international faith and human rights organizations. Yes, friends, so they were there in uh, International Religious Freedom Summit, Church and State United. I remember Daniel 3, when Nebuchadnezzar decided to control the things of the state. Then Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego were in the den of lion. Mm? Remember Daniel 6 again, friends, the same issue when Darius signed a decree, all should worship according to the state way. Then Daniel was in the den of Lion, Esther chapter 3, mm? when Mordecai refused to bow down to Haman due to church and state united, they were to be killed. Yes, friends. So what will come now? Mm? State and religion united. Christ was crucified. Mm? What about now, friends? State and religion united. God's faithful people in these last days will be put in great trial. Listen. International Religious Freedom Summit 2024, January 30 to 31 in where? Washington, D.C. Yes, friends. So from Washington, D.C., it is going to speak as a dragon indeed. Listen to this. Mm? Now he will explain that we need to come together as religions and then we now say which people are removing religious freedom. Mm? And of course, our message of Babylon is fallen. That is what they will say. Oh, you people are destroying religious freedom. Mm? Now listen, he will say the main work of international religious freedom is to bring religions together. Yes, friends, to bring solution about religions together. 
mm? as Revelation 17 13 said and these have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the Pope or the beast listen there my name go. is Chelsea Hedquist. I'm the executive director of the Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice. I think what the International Religious Freedom Summit is trying to do is a really powerful step on the way to finding solutions, and that is bringing people together to advocate for members of communities that are not their own. We have this amazing group of partners who come from every political persuasion, almost every faith community in the world, lots of different cultural backgrounds, um, and having them all come together and advocate together for the fundamental right to freedom of religion, conscience, and belief, um, that's sort of what makes this movement so powerful. I Yes, friends, so their main work for that meeting is to do what? Bring all religions together. Yes, friends, and then make laws about how people can preach so that you cannot say Catholicism is fallen, is fallen. God's people come out of her. You can't say that. Mm? So, friends, we are living at a very difficult moment. Listen to what they say again. Uh, there you go. Religious freedom impacts economic prosperity, political rights. Johnson says it is true, religious freedom is a good thing, but we are told it will speak as a dragon. They will, uh, they will remove religious freedom and they are doing it, but they are thinking they are putting religious freedom. Listen, economic prosperity grows when people are allowed to follow their faith. That is true. And freedom flourishes where freedom is allowed, Johnson said. That is the house speaker. When religious freedom is taken away mm, from the people, political freedom soon follows. So what is their plan, friends? He's talking about when religious freedom is taken away, political freedom also follows, meaning they will destroy democracy after destroying religious freedom. And as the Lord says, whatever has happened in the past will happen again. Our period of freedom has already ended. It is just war coming. Listen, the next part, we are told, social media, what? Social media and religious freedom raised at a global summit as a double edge sword. Yes, friends, what does the Hebrew say? Hmm? Now, social media is saying, you know, this thing, this double-edged sword is destroying religious freedom. What is this double-edged sword? Hmm? The word of God in, uh, in Hebrews, we are told God's word is like what? A double-edged sword. Yes, friends, the book of Hebrews, shall look at that. So, majorly, what they are saying it is hindering religious freedom is double-edged sword. And that double-edged sword is God's word. As Hebrews uh, tells us that God's word is a double-edged. Mm? Listen. The International Religious Freedom Summit in Washington, D.C. met last week in part to find ways to help promote religious freedom on social media platforms and at the same time stop the spread of hate and disinformation i wonder what they call it the double-edged sword god's word the bible calling catholicism fallen fallen it is the church of satan when you say that way you are spreading hate mm. when you say the jews people as a nation their probation was closed maybe individual who are jews can be saved then also you are spreading hate so friends our time is limited it is counted Mm. Freedom of expression is how they operate their content. I think it was really important for them to be there because 
freedom of religion is so deeply affected by what? By how social media is moderated mm. and what is presented and what's not on the platforms. There you go, friends. Now, they're saying religious freedom is affected by what? Social media. And social media producing which, what? Uh, which one? Double-edged sword. The word of God. That is what they are afraid of. And they will be. Mm? Listen. I think, now, this is where it speaks as a dragon. Mm? I think we have to pay special attention to the roles that governments and authoritarian regimes are doing. They are trying to use internet shutdown. There you go, friends. Internet what? Internet shutdown. Mm -hmm. Or impose certain standards on tech companies like YouTube, like Facebook, like WhatsApp. What kinds of messages can you post? Mm -hmm. That essentially allow them to use the platform as instrument of monitoring and surveillance and persecution of political and religious opposition that is what he's saying we need now to look at that because that will help us to overcome this double-edged sword yes friends so what is coming on the media it is surveillance slavery as christ was sent spies to follow him so will god's people be monitored mm? whatever they speak whatever they post they shall be monitored they shall be censored as we read, friends, disciples of Christ were told, don't preach your Christ here. Mm? What about those who preach against the papacy in the last days? They'll be taught, don't tell us that the Antichrist is the Pope. Mm? Listen, there are groups, now he's saying them. Now he's saying them, there are groups devoted to just studying hate speech. Huh, they have really seen those messages. There are some NGO, but people are writing books. So even books are troubling. Okay, so even books are what? Double-edged sword, the testimony of Jesus and the word of God. So those groups which are studying to tell people the truth, they are studying hate according to them. Mm? But friends, they never see the clear picture until the Lord opens their eyes. Mm? Listen, the solution, she says, is we need a tax force for people working and that information sharing out, it doesn't bridge over into communities. So they need a tax force for what? For religion on the media to see if you are speaking against any religion. If you're saying Islam, you don't believe in Christ. You need to believe in Christ to come uh, to heaven. Then they will say, you are against Islam. Mm? When you preach, oh, Catholicism is fallen. Mm? The church is promoting LGBT people. That is not right for God's word. Then you are promoting hate. So the days of Noah are really here. Friends, in the days of Noah, the people who rejected the message were the people who saw themselves to be Christians, while yet they were the great pagans. Mm? Listen. As you are told, the men of that generation were not all in the fullest acception of the term idolaters. Many profess to be worshippers of God. There you go, friends. They claim that their idols were representation of the deity and that through them, the people could obtain a clearer conception of the divine being. This class were foremost in rejecting the preaching of who? Of Noah. Those religious groups which think because they profess the name of God, then they are doing God's work. No, friends, they were the people who were against Noah when he preached the truth, the present truth. The same way, the many religions, we don't want to listen to the truth about Christ's coming, about the crisis which is ahead of us. Then they shall reject the message like the people who did to Noah, as Christ said, Matthew 24, 37, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be, when the Son of Man shall do what? Shall be revealed. Yes, friends, we are here. And the papacy, there you go. Pope calls for universal basic income, shorter working day. The mark of the beast is near. 
We call that one in 2021. It is near indeed. So it calls for what? Universal basic income and also shorter working day. I wonder which day will be free. Daniel 7 25 the Roman Empire the papal power will convince the world to change God's Sabbath from the seventh day to Sunday a day which is not of God mm. listen Pope proposes universal salary and reduction of the working day so we think that the papacy so very soon no work on Sunday go to church if you're not going you have a problem Listen, on a 40-day degree day, what Christians think about climate change? Mm -hmm. Christians as the majority concerned about climate change, but to a lesser degree than the general community with the age and politics of churchgoers, people who are going to church. As a factor, a position that feels initiatively correct so their main agenda for Christians to help control the climate, <laughs> then you just go to church. That is what will help the nation. That is a great lie. And to go to church on which day? On Sunday. Mm? Even if it was on Sabbath, the Lord does not want the government to force people to keep Saturday holy. He, don't, he doesn't want that way. The Lord wants his people to worship him out of love. Okay, friends? That is it. So friends here, they're saying, you want those calamities to end, just go to church on Sunday. A great deception. As Christ said, those calamities will exist until he comes a second time. Climate change will never go until the Lord appears. Listen, pop video about Christian unity, not a disclosure of a secret agenda. It is a secret agenda, friends, as it, he gave the video. Mm. I am ashamed to tell you this, but I have a secret agenda to deceive you. That is the Pope himself saying. Read the subtitle at one point in the video. Yes, it looks good to unite people in one world religion. That way I control them better. One world religion, worship on which day? On Sunday. Those who refuse, they shall then be oppressed. But happy are you when ye suffer for Christ's sake. Woe to them that will honor Sunday when made as a law, because they shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. No joke, friends. Choose the wrath of God or the wrath of man. Mm. Pope Francis condemns any manifestation of hatred against who? The Jews and Judaism. This issue of Jews and Judaism will bring media to be censored. Mm? When you say maybe Jews as a nation, probation has been closed until they accept Christ, then you are in big trouble according to them. But God's word says the Jews crucified Jesus. They cannot be God's children until they believe in Jesus Christ and they follow him. Yes, friends, Israel is not God's people until they become spiritual Israel. Those who believe in Jesus Christ. Listen, anti-Semitism on social media will overshadow this year's Holocaust memorial. So it's all about regulating the media. Listen, US strikes Iran backed groups as Israel Hamas war rages. So war is still coming up. As Christ said, you shall always hear of wars and rumors of wars. And now friends, <laughs> in the book of Genesis, before Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, then war was trending in every place. War, yes friends, every place there was a war. So friends, as Christ said, the days of Lot will repeat the characteristics of Sodom and Gomorrah. Which one is Sodomy, God's people in captivity. Another one we saw, wars will rage. That is Genesis uh, Genesis. Chapter 14. Yes, friends. Shall I read them.
So Genesis 14, listen. And it came to pass in the days of Amraphael, king of Shina, Ario, king of Elsa, Chadola, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of nations, that this made war with Bera, king of Sodom, and with Basha, king of Gomorrah, and Shinadab, king of Adama, and Shemabab, king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, which is Zoar. All these were joined together in the valley of Sidim, which is the salt sea. So friends, when you read chapter 14 going downward, uh, you shall see until a place where Lot was taken captive. Mm -hmm. And there was a war between kings of Sodom and other kings. These were nations. Yes, friends. Nations were fighting before Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Okay. And Lot was taken captive. So during the war, that is when Lot was taken captive. Okay, friends. Have you seen that? So we are told by Christ, Luke 17, 28 to 30. As it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank. They builded, they uh, they builded, they planted, hmm? they sold. But the same day when Lot went out of Sodom, he trained fire and brimstone. Even thus shall it be when the Son of Man is what is revealed. Meaning, wars will trend before Christ comes back, and that goes hand in hand with the spiritual prophecy. War will rage before the second coming. Hmm. And also, friends, during this period of war, that is when God's people are in captive. Yes, friends. So there is a literal war which will take place among nations of the world. And God's people will be captive during those wars. Okay? Not the literal Israel. Not that one. The spiritual Israel. Seventh-day Adventists. Those who keep the seventh-day Sabbath will be in trouble. Okay? And then, friends, the Lord will appear to save his people but also remember there will be the great amegadon war which will come after their thousand years the same way okay so before sodom was destroyed wars were trending every place and that is why we see also wars in our nations russia's plan to hit nato as they plan all the things 2024 2025 2026, 2027, 2028, as even the AI foretold. So friends, indeed, it shows clearly that before Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, there was war. Also before this earth, which is now Sodom and Gomorrah, to be destroyed, wars will rage. Yes, friends. So when you see all these things, be ye ready. I have a king. That king is Jesus Christ. Hmm? Listen. Psalms 5 verse 2, pray unto your king. Yes, friends. Pray unto who? Pray unto your king. Hearken to the voice of my cry. Hearken to the voice of my cry, O my God, my king, for unto thee will I pray. So the Lord is our king, not the king of this earth, but the king of heaven and earth. Okay, friends. The king that will rule forever and ever. Yes, friends, and even our king will save us in the time of trouble. Mm. Psalms 44 verse 4. Psalms 44 verse 4. Thou art my God, my king. Command deliverances for Jacob. Which Jacob? Jacob's time of trouble. As we are told, Daniel 12 verse 1. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was. So the king jesus christ will deliver his people let's get ready friends listen psalm 68 verse 24 my king is in the holy sanctuary my king is in the heavenly sanctuary most holy place praying for you praying for me saying come and repent come that you may receive a clean garment mm? for the end is near Psalm 68 verse 24 They have seen thy goings my God even thy goings my God my king in the sanctuary yes friends so the Lord is where in the most holy place interceding for you and I may we seek the Lord while he may be found may we go to him while he is near 
Listen, Psalm 74 verse 12, our God, our King gives salvation, not like the kings of the earth. Psalms 74 verse 12, for the Lord is my King of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. Yes, friends. So the Lord is doing what? He's our king and he is working salvation upon this earth. He is calling you, calling I. Live. Yes, friends. So the Lord is calling you and I. He is working salvation for all of us. And then, friends, we are told in Psalms 24 verse 21. Fear the king. Who is the king? Jesus Christ alone. Psalms, uh, Proverbs 24, verse 20, 21. My son, fear the Lord and the king. Fear the Lord and the king. And meddle not with them that do change. Yes, friends. So what is to fear the Lord? As you are told, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Fear God and keep his commandments that is it friends when we keep the commandments of god then the righteousness of christ will be poured upon us that is it listen matthew 25 verse 34 the king will welcome will welcome his children to the new kingdom to the new jerusalem matthew 25 verse 34 and the king shall say unto them on his right hand side hmm, Come, come ye blessed of my father into the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Yes, friends. So if we be faithful, the king who is soon to come, he will say, come and sit with me. Yes, friends. Mark 13 verse 9. Before that comes, we must pass through these earthly kings. We must be oppressed by them. As Christ said, take heed for yourselves, for ye shall be delivered to the councils, and in the synagogue ye shall be beaten. Oh no, <laughs> and in the synagogue ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings, the kings of the earth, the kings of Babylon. Mm. And ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for Jesus Christ's sake, not for any man. For my sake, for Jesus Christ's sake, for a testimony against them. Yes, friends, that time is here. But friends, when it comes, it will go. And we shall be kings and priests unto God. Yes, friends, Revelation 1 verse 6. And he had made us kings and and priest unto God and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen so friends that shows from tribulation to glory that shows our king was from tribulation to glory he is now a high priest and soon he shall be a king and a king does not do the work of a priest Yes, friends. So let's get ready because the Lord is coming. You have a king who lives forever and ever. Fear not. Fear God and give glory to him. Let's pray, friends. Our Lord in heaven, must I thank you for this day and time. Lord, indeed, you are our king in the heavenly sanctuary. How we pray that you open our eyes to see that Nothing can ever overcome you, O Lord. In this world, O Lord, we must pass through tribulation. But how glad we are, because they will end and soon you shall appear to save your own. We just pray that you keep us faithful, that our character may be fit for the heavenly canon. Keep us faithful, O Lord. To every listener, bless him and encourage him or her in this journey. Continue revealing the signs of the times unto your children and help us to get ready. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen.